By default, contacts in Less Annoying CRM have the common address book style fields you might expect. Name, email address, phone number, address, plus a few others. But what if your business needs to keep track of some piece of information about your contacts that the CRM doesn't have a field for? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom fields to your CRM. This is as simple as it gets. Let's add a field to my database. First, I'll go to my settings section from the top of the page, and once there, I'll click on the custom fields option here. This next page lets me create as many custom fields as I want for my contacts. Each field is just an extra text area that I can fill out when creating or editing a contact. For example, if each of my business's customers has a special customer ID number, I can create a field specifically for that. Or maybe I need to be able to track contact spouses' names. I can quickly add that too. If I want to reorder the custom fields, I can just click and drag them like this to move them around. Any field I create here is going to be available from both contact and company records, so this works for data I want to collect about businesses and organizations as well. Let's jump back to my workspace, and I'm going to add a brand new contact and fill out a few of the fields. Okay, great. In the bottom section of the form, my custom fields will be available from the list of expandable fields. I can just click here and enter a value. When I save, you'll see the values for the custom fields along with my other fields in the left column. Note that if you leave a custom field blank, it won't show up here in the contact info section. But that doesn't mean I can't use it. I can always edit the contact information and fill it out later if I need to. One last nice thing about custom fields is that they're searchable, just like my other fields. So if I want to look up a customer by their ID number, I can just type that number into the search box at the top and my new contact comes up. That's all there is to it with custom fields. If you want to add any to your own account, you can take care of that right now and then come back to the guide for the next video.